What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are going with a crazy cool off meta team. We're using a team that only features Pokemon that start with the letter P. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Before we get started here with today's team preview, you guys know I got to give a shout out to the team creator, Viking VGC. Thank you so much for making another mono letter team. Cannot wait to use this team and hopefully grab some wins on the rank ladder. But with that out the way, we can finally get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we got Palkia. Palkia is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting for this team, considering he is like the only restricted Pokemon on this team. He's got pressure, he's got the Lustrous Orb as his item, and the moveset is fairly normal and straight up with Spatial Rain, Hydro Pump, Earth Power for coverage, and Trick Room to, you know, pop that Trick Room. Second Pokemon is going to be Pikachu. Cannot have a letter P team without the OG Pikachu over here. Lightning Rod and a Light Ball as its item, Volt Tackle, Grass Knot, Fake Out, and Protect. Definitely G-Max Pikachu, cannot wait to Dynamax him and get rolling out strong with him. Middle left is going to be a Pokemon that I have never used in Sword and Shield. It is going to be Pinsir. Such a cool Pokemon, just a bug type over here, but again, I have never used them before, so gonna be a lot of fun. Hypercutter as its ability, alongside that life form as its item, X Scissor, Rock Slide, EQ, and Protect for its moveset. Fourth Pokemon is going to be a support Pokemon, it is going to be Pheromos over here. Actually, Pheromos is kind of like half and half. It's support, yet it can still hit pretty hard, but this thing has the Beast Boost as its ability and the Focus Sash as its item. It's got Close Combat for Stab, Triple Axle for coverage, Speed Swap to give slower Pokemon faster speed, and then Protect for its final move. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Porygon 2 over here. Porygon 2 is one of the best Trick Room setters in the game. Really, really good, and you cannot have a P team only without P2 over here. Absolutely love this Pokemon. It's got Download, alongside with that Evo Light as its item, and then it's got Recover, Trick Room, Eerie Impulse for special attack drops, and then Foul Play for big damage on physical attackers. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Alolan Persian over here, rattled as its ability, alongside with that wide lens to make Hypnosis land a lot more frequently. It's got Protect, Icy Wind, and Fake Out for its other three moves. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, not the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this P only team. First match coming at you guys, and to be honest with you guys, I simply cannot find ranked battles. In this game i do not know why i searched multiple times and i just cannot find anybody so we're back on the casual ladder hopefully you guys still enjoy i'm going to be trying to find some good teams that we can go up against and have a solid match so hopefully we can get rolling out with that but seriously hopefully you guys still enjoy it and i uh, like up today's video but casual ladder is definitely still a lot of fun you get to see a lot of different teams or different pokemon they, that you never get to see before so if you're getting bored of rank ladder and like same old pokemon definitely give the casual ladder a try it's a lot of fun it's definitely a lot of fun but this guy's got a uh a pretty meta team from series 12 i think it is yeah from series 12 pretty meta team from there i think we can beat it i think we can roll out strong but we definitely need to pop a trick trick room has got to get out and about so i think i'm just gonna lead maybe like p2 pikachu pop a trick room kind of go from there or i can go palkia and just speed swap not a bad option i do want to see pincer's speed real quick pincer what is your speed kind sir 150 you're pretty fast i'll give it to you you're pretty fast you're pretty fast pokemon but i might just speed swap here Hmm. Or I could go, you know, we'll do these two. Maybe power tricking with Palkia and roll off from there. Bring Pinsir in the back end and Pikachu. Let me see your speed real quick. Pikachu's and, right? 156. Actually, you got, you're rather fast. I'm still going to bring you, though. Actually, no, we're not. No, we're not. Can I get that Pheromos in here? Lock it in? I think I got it. I think I locked it in. I think I locked it in. I definitely want the P2 instead of the Pheromosa, but Pheromosa was just a down click quicker, and that's what we need. <laughs> I didn't want to bring the Pikachu unless we were like feeding it and Dynamaxing it. I feel like you get no value out of it, you know? It's just not that good if you're not going to Dynamax it, so we're not using it. We're not using it. Hopefully, we locked that in and we got that Pokemon in there and got the Pikachu out of there. But he's going to go Whimsy Whims alongside with this Defiant Little Tornadus. And, oh, God, we didn't get the Pikachu out of there. <laughs> we didn't get the Pikachu out of there. Let's see who we got. Looks like we're sitting here in a tough position. Maybe I just Dynamax Pikachu, right? Dude, come on. I wanted to lead the Pheromosa. That's tough news. Actually, wait a minute. No, I thought I led the... Uh, what's it called? The Persian. We didn't even get the Persian, man. That sucks. Okay, so we're just going to go for a Trick Room here. And do we fake out the Whimsy Whims? I feel like we fake out the Whimsy Whims here. We fake out the Whimsy Whims. We pop a lovely little Trick Room. And then maybe, just maybe, we Dynamax. 
But Pikachu's here for fake out. Get some work done. Get it, Peek. Then you go for a Thunderbolt and yo, we lightning rod. Yo, do I Dynamax Pikachu at this point? Do I Dynamax Pikachu at this point? This guy just lightning rod at me. Like, obviously, Palkia would be the play, but Pikachu plus one? I think I'm about it, right? I think I'm about it. <laughs> gotta be about it, right? It gotta be about it. I can go with the spatial run in this thing. I can just go straight into GMAX full crash. That's what I don't want to do here. I mean, I mm. guess we'll try to land Hydro Pump over this thing because I know for a fact that GMAX full crash can take this out. So, you know, we're Dynamaxing the Pika. We're doing it. We're doing it. He's going to end up withdrawing you. And who are you going to go into here? Oh, dude, what a play. I'll give it to him all day. I don't know if he meant to do that, but heck of a play right there. He actually does a, he gets a lot of value out of that turn. He dodges my G-Max Volcrash for one. And my Hydro Pump does less damage. So he's going to show his final to Pokemon. Probably his ass right? No, it's Char Char. Char Char. Char Char is getting... Getting out here. So we're going to hit it with a Hydro Pump. Um, hmm. It's actually tough. Who do we have in the back end? It is... We do have Pinsir. Okay, so Pinsir could get some value out here. I don't know. I don't know, but... That was a great play by him. Swapping in the route on. Should have Dynamax to Palkia. Hydro Pump's still going to fly. Still should be able to do a decent amount of damage in the drought. I mean, Stab, it's super effective. Yeah. Good damage. Lovely damage. We like that damage. This thing is... Is that a weakness policy? Yo, a lot of Charizards are rocking policy right now. A lot of Char Charizards are rocking the policy right now. We're going to go for a Volt Crash. It's going to do nothing. And Solar Power can KO this thing. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. The Solar Power picks up the KO. I feel like from here, he's got to bring out Whimsicott again, right? Or is he going to go back into Bananas? You know the Whimsicott. And I feel like I have to G-Max Volt Crash that, right? I feel like I have to G-Max Volt Crash that. I guess we'll just start Spatial Running into this Groudon. Looking for crits and kind of getting after it that way. I could slow him down. I could go into an overgrowth, but I feel like this would be your best bet. Just G-Max Bull Crash. Get some Paralyzes on the field, and hopefully they, they can waste some turns. But he's going to Dynamax Groudon here. Groudon is getting the Dynamax. And I'm kind of scared of this Groudon. Like, this Groudon could definitely do a lot of work. That's the problem with these teams right here. Like, they get overpowered. Like, these off-meta teams, they get overpowered by the meta Pokemon, such as, like, Groudon, Dacian, all that good stuff. But right now, we're holding up pretty well. If he didn't swap into Groudon that last turn, I feel like we would have been thriving out with this battle and just ran away with it. But he ends up... Ooh, drop on Light Tree. Drop on Light Tree. That's a great play. Can my Pokemon go first? No, Groudon's going to go first. He's going to take out my Peak. Pikachu's dead all day to that. Yeah, see you later, Peak. Sorry, buddy. You don't survive it. For nothing. For nothing. So Trick Room does this a little dirty, but I felt like since we got that plus one, we had to Dynamax him. But we didn't even get a turn off with him. That sucks, yo. So Palkia is our guy right here. He is going to get a special defense boost here as well. E, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. Late screen and special defense boost. We're going to do like no damage. That was a crit. We love you, Palkia. <laughs> we did some damage. <laughs> so big time crit comes out here. Um, I feel like we just had to save our Faramosa. I feel like saving our Faramosa is probably our play. Maybe going into Pinsir at this point. Hey, Pinsir, what's your speed at? Isn't it higher? Yeah, we need Trick Room going. How many turns left in Trick Room? I Man, I do have Protect. I could Speed Swap this turn. I can do a lot. Or I can just go straight into a Triple Axle. I'll bring in Faramosa. I'll save my Pinsir. I know he has Tornadus. Tornadus is rather fast, though. I don't think. Faramosa going to come out here. And let me see how many turns left in Trick Room. Two. I could double Protect this turn. Actually, I could Reverse Trick Room, which would probably be my best bet, right? It would probably be my best bet to reverse trick him. And in this case, I feel like we use our focus hash. Because there's no way he doubles down into me and we get rid of one of his Pokemon. Or at least attack the ground on, right? Or do we get rid of the Whimsy Whims? No, we're going to attack the ground on. Ground's a bigger threat. So we're going to reverse the trick him here. I'm going to try to roll off from there. And he's going to end up charming my Faramosa, which is okay. It's I, right, I guess. Kind of hurts the soul. And then this thing's just going to go for a flare into Faramosa. All right, that's cool. So yeah, Sash is going to poke out here. We're going to reverse the Trick Room just so we can have a bit more speed here. And then we'll roll out from there. So Focus Ash, we're going to hang on with. Triple Axe is going to fly. And can we land all three? That would be beautiful. Just to get some damage. Give me a crit on one of them. Oh, we're doing like no damage. That hurts the soul. And that should be his last Dynamax turn, right? Actually, no. He has one more, doesn't he? We're going to reverse. We're reversing the Trick Room here. Um, huh. 
What do I do here? Obviously, I want a Hydro Pump, or I can go for the crit. I could double down and take bad on slot. Hmm. He could pop a Tailwind at this point. Oh, he could pop a Tailwind at this point. But I feel like I still triple Axel here. Huh. I think I'm going to pop another Trick Room while he pops his Tailwind. No, let's do that. Have him set up the Tailwind, and then we Trick Room again. I'm kind of about it. I'm kind of about it. I think he's going to set up the Tailwind again, so let's waste out that turn and then go into a Trick Room again. Look at that call. Look at that call, baby. Force him to go into a Tailwind. Now we pop a Trick Room. I don't think he can KO my Palkia at all. Phantasm is going to come out here and take out my Pheromos, so I'm totally fine with that. So he thinks he has speed for the rest of the game. Nah, yo. We setting up Trick Room yet again. All right. Let's get it. I need that Sun to end. I think that Sun should end this turn. Actually, I don't know. I think he has one more turn, which kind of sucks, man. But I think a Space Run, if we can get a crit on a Space Run, that could be big. That could definitely be big time. But we have speed now. And now we can go into the one and only Pinsir with that orb. That lovely little orb. And I think Pinsir might be able to take out that Groudon. We have orb. I know he's a bit bulkier, but on top of that, he has no screens or defense boost. So I could go into a Hydro Pump, but I might double down to Scrout on here. Like Scissor and the Grout on too. I'm about it. I'm all about it. Let's do it. Let's run it up. He's going to go for a Charm here. And I got Hyper Cutter, baby. Hyper Cutter coming in hot. Loving it. We got speed now. Give me a crit. Give me a crit just to take this thing out. Please, thank you. We do not get the crit. X Scissor, can you finish this thing off? Pincer, my dude. Pincer, my dude. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, we made a beautiful call. Going into that trick room and predicting the tailwind. That was just big time plays. Harsh sunlight finally fades. We can drop hydro pumps now. We can kind of roll out strong with that. But he has light screen up. I feel like we just start spatial running into that, uh, into the tornado slot. And then we just keep going in with X scissors into that, uh, whimsy slot. I think I'm all about that. But yeah, spatial run's going to fly. Or do I just not even worry about the whimsy guy? And I double down into, double down into tornadoes here. Might be my play. I feel like if we just get rid of Tornadus, we win this game. Or not Tornadus, Thunderous. Goes for an Eerie Impulse, though. Huh, that, that hurts a little bit. That definitely hurts a little bit. But these guys are both Prankster. They're both Prankster. They're not going to do too much here. Space Run, we're looking for crit. So if we can crit, that special attack drop does nothing. But we don't get the crit. Rock Slide's going to fly. We're going to chip up some damage all around. And, okay, cool. That's really good to know how much damage that just did. And it's just rolling out strong, yo. But that Trick Room play... Phenomenal. He's going to end up having a Citrus Berry, if I had to guess. And a Rock Slide should definitely be able to take that out. So he's going to go for a Moon Blast. Probably going to Palkia because it's super effective. No, he goes into my Pinsir. He might Pinsir alone. Light Screen's finally gone, and I feel like we just go here. Actually, I know Rock Slide can KO. I know Rock Slide can KO, so I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump, and I'm just going to stick with the Rock Slide here. Let's do it. Let's do it. He's going to go for another Eerie Impulse. We're looking for... Oh, we can't even get a crit. We're minus four. <laughs> We're minus four. Rock Slide coming in hot, baby. Hydro Pump flying. How much damage? Get a crit here. You're minus four. And this thing is plus on special defense boost. That does nothing. That is ugly. Pinsir, I need your Rock Slides landing. I love you, Pinsir. I love you, Pinsir. Taking out the Thunders. Bring this thing down to one. Mwah. It's a beautiful game. It's pretty much GG's. That's pretty much GG's. Is he going to take out my Pinsir? Leave my Pinsir alone. Moon Blast. He's blasting moons. Pinsir. Thanks for popping out. You did an amazing job, yo. Pinsir rolled out strong, yo. Pinsir rolled out strong. Their tailwind's gone. Um, we still have speed. We're still faster than this Pokemon. And I think like we just dropped some Earth Powers, right? I feel like we're going to start missing Hydro Pumps. So I really don't want to risk it. We're just going to start dropping Earth Powers. And I feel like two Earth Powers should be able to KO, right? Or maybe one. We'll see. EP comes out here. Yeah, one more Earth Power takes him out, which is beautiful. He's going to drop a Moon Blast. We are going to be able to soak that lovely Moon Blast and another Earth Power. We'll be able to pick up the KO. Beautiful. Beautiful. So what a first battle. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. We still have speed here. I know we don't. But we should be able to eat up another Moon Blast. We should be able to eat up another Moon Blast. No problem, right? I swear, if this thing gets a crit and I lose, this game's getting thrown in the trash. Awesome. Awesome. We soak up that Moon Blast. Earth Power comes in hot. That should be GG's. Let's go. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. What a first match to get this video started. Let's hop to our second battle. Let's go back to back.
Second battle coming at you guys. Let's look to go back to back. But yo, that first battle was awesome. Went the distance. We got to showcase some cool Pokemon and grab ourselves a W in that one. But uh, we're going up against another Groudon team. But this time with Zacian, Ho-Oh, Zamazetta, Incineroar, and Regilecki. So this one seems like it's going to be a bit uh, more tougher. But hopefully your boy can kind of roll out here and grab yourself another win. If not, hopefully keep this match a little closer. But I feel like Trick Room is an absolute must to pop, right? He has a lot of fast Pokemon. Trick Room has to come out here. So I feel like we lead a Pokemon like Persian to kind of get things started here. It has to fake out. And what does Rattle do again? I always forget. Dark Ghost and Bug type moves that move scare the Pokemon and boost its speed set. Awesome. That's actually really solid. So I am going to go into Persian. And I think I'm just going to go Palkia, Pop, Trick Room, and kind of go from there, right? Probably my best bet. I really did like that option. I'm gonna bring Pinsir in the back end because Pinsir is the man. And then last but not least, um, hmm, we got Faramosa or do we go like P2? I think P2 could be good. Like, what do you have P2? You do have Foul Play or Impulse Recover. A lot of physical attacks on Team Foul Play could get a lot of value out of this. Hmm, I think P2 is gonna be your play. I like P2. Actually, I like Faramosa. I like Faramosa with that triple axle. I just really like that. So I'm going to go Faramosa here. Especially in the back end when Trick Room kind of ends. We're going to need a faster Pokemon. I feel like Faramosa kind of just fits the spot. So let's roll out here. Let's like grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But I feel like this one's going to be tough. This one's going to be tough. Winning with these mono letter teams is tough because you're so like... You don't have like all the OP Pokemon. But they're a lot of fun to use. They so definitely challenge yourself. But let's see. He's going to go Ho-Oh alongside with Zamazu. Uh. I mean, he has wide guard. Uh, he can't really counter Trick Room. I feel like we have to fake out the Zamazetta. It's just a free fake out. And he might Dynamax the Ho-Oh, which I'm kind of cool with. If he Dynamaxes the Ho-Oh. I mean, I can bring out Pinsir after Trick Room and drop a rocket onto that face. That is options. We have options here. But yeah, fake out's an absolute must here. Or I can go for a Hypnosis, but I just don't think that's the play. I think we fake out and we set up the free Trick Room. Because even with the wide lens, Hypnosis still has like a 20% chance of missing... So I really don't want to rely on that. He's going to end up protecting Ho-Oh. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So we end up doing that with the fake out and we pop the rooms full of tricks. Okay, cool. I'm all about it. I think we have the Dynamax Palkia at this point. Palkia's got to be your Dynamax here. Um, I feel like we just put you to sleep and then we Dynamax Palkia. And like, who could he swap into? Like, I'm sending a geyser. Can't swap into Incineroar, you're going to die to that. Can't swap into ground. Actually, you can swap into ground, but we automatically change weather back, and that's fine by me. Zassian will take a heaping amount of damage. I feel like we're fine with just dropping a free geyser here, right? Makes the most sense. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's drop the geyser in. Thank God he protected. He thought I was coming in hot with a shot onto him right away, but I was like, nah. Let me set up tricking. But he Dynamaxes the Ho-Oh. He might be policy. He might be policy. So I'm going to put this Zamas out of sleep. And then I'm going to try to put the next Pokemon to sleep. But yeah, we're going to throw a geyser here. And my geyser should go first, which is huge. So if he wants to go for a fire move, which I don't think he's doing. I think he's going for more so an airstream. Which is totally fine. But actually, Ho-Oh might be slower than Palkia. But I don't think it is. I really don't think it is. But not a bad start from us. Not a bad start. Palkia and Persian coming out here. One thing I wish this Persian would have had is Fake Tears. It really rolls strong. That used to be a combo back in like series 11 and 12. Roll in with the low impression with fake tears, just sending straight up fake tears, and then Palkia just kind of rolls in and dumps on people. Or was that Meow Stick? I think they both can do it. Quake's gonna fire. I'm cool with the Quake. I don't mind the Quake. My Pokemon should be able to eat this up. Oh, he's going in Palkia. That did a lot of damage, not gonna lie, for a Quake. That did a lot of damage for a Quake. I'm surprised that thing's slower than us. It is gonna be orbed. I'm gonna drop a geyser here, set the rain. But we know it's not policy, which is good. And guys are should be able to take out next turn unless he drops another quake. But hopefully this hypnosis lands so we can just kind of put the Samus to sleep. Of course. That's exactly why I don't go into hypnosis. is gonna end up snarling me. Palkia dodge. That's a big dodge for Palkia. It's a big dodge for Palkia. I'll take it all day. I'll take it all day. So speed stat's gonna drop or not speed, special attack, but rattle is going to boost our speed stat. Which is kinda bad. We're in trick room and we don't we don't really want that. But uh Huh, I think we just do the same thing, right? I mean, he could guard. He could definitely guard. It could go right into this, but... I'm still just gonna drop a guys here. Let's see what he does. So, Trick Room actually doesn't really help us too much. I thought that Trick Room would help us a lot more. He's gonna end up quaking again. And... Our Persian survives. That's a huge survive there. 
It's huge eat up. So hopefully I can put you to sleep here unless he's going for another snarl here and taking me out. He's going to lose some life orb damage. He is plus two, but we got the rain boost now. We got the rain boost. Hopefully we can pick up a KO here. This could be a big time KO if we can take him out right now. Awesome. Beautiful. Dope. Let's go. See you later. See you later, Ho-Oh. So we take out his Dynamax Pokemon. He's probably snarling, dropping us to minus one, taking out my... What you call it? My Persian with that as well. No, my Persian survives. Can we put you to sleep, please? Can you land this, please? I need you to land this hypnosis. You have wide lens for a reason. To land these hypnosises. You have it for a reason. I need you to do it. I love you. Finally. You did it. <laughs> a low in Persian gets a cookie. Even though the Zama said it's going to wake up in like one turn. Alright, so... I feel like he brings out Groudon at this point, right? He's not enough Groudon, Zamazetta. Well, not Zamazetta, Zacian, right? So he goes Zacian with this turn, which I'm cool with. I think he's, I think he's just gonna protect. Wait, I feel like he protects here. What do I do? I feel like he has to protect, right? I feel like he has to protect, correct? I mean, I'm a hypnosis it just in case he doesn't, but I'm just gonna geyser straight into. I mean, we could quake. Quake would be nice. What does more damage? Times two or stab in the rain? I think the super effective shot does a bit more. I'm gonna go after this. I really do think Zacian's gonna protect here. Makes the most sense. Oh, we just canceled the battle. We take that all day. I feel like this dude had a shot, but hey, 2 0 to get this video started. Let's go look for a perfect record in battle number three. Final match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a stack team. This guy's rocking Mewtwo, Jirachi, Victini, Mew, Silvalli, and Reggie Gengis. Let's get after it. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. I feel like the Pikachu is going to get after it. So I'm going to lead Pikachu out here, and I might end up beating it with the Faramusa. Or should I just go straight in with like maybe like Palkia or something? I mean, there's no need to pop a trick move before you're going to paralyze most of them. So maybe we should go for like a Persian fake out and kind of go from there. I'm about it. I'm about it. Persian Pikachu rolling with Pinsir in the back end and then Palkia because you know Palkia is the heart and soul of this team. And we definitely need him to win some battles. But yo, Pikachu's getting the Dynamax here. Let's roll out strong. Let's look for a win here in battle number three. Actually, not just a win. A perfect record win. Because we were sitting at 2-0. We had two great battles. We made our last opponent cancel, but I feel like he definitely had a shot. I don't think if he canceled there, I don't think it was like over, you know? I don't understand why he canceled. He definitely had a shot. There was only two turns left in Trick Room. He had Zassi and Zamazetta out on the field. Definitely gonna protect, made some plays, and got back in the game. But uh, we're gonna go Pikachu. So let's start Regigigas is out here. So I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. It's a slow start, so it's not gonna do too much. But uh, Mewtwo's here. I feel like we just Dynamax Pikachu. She max Volt Crash into Mewtwo. And who do we fake out? I'm gonna fake out the Mewtwo. I'm gonna say the Regigigas might be the one to Dynamax. Or well, he might just not Dynamax any of them. If I can get Pikachu out here, drop some Paralyzes, that would be a big place for us. But if he is Dynamaxing, we still outspeed, which is huge. But I don't think he is. I do not think he's Dynamaxing. I would love to get his Paralyzed off. Pikachu can do some crazy big damage. But again, it's a glass cannon. Its HP is super low. Its defense stats are god-awful. But its special attack, through the roof with a light ball. Can do some work. Pikachu can do some work. Let's see what he does here. We're going to end up faking out this Mewtwo. Solid play from us. And... Does Regigigas go next? No, Pikachu outspeeds completely. Drops some Paralyze and maybe even take out the Mewtwo here. Oh yeah, Peek. Oh yeah, Peek. Pikachu, no, gets the crit. No problem. He said, yo, no problem. He said, you want this Mewtwo dead? I got you, Jeans. No problem. G-Max Volt Crash for the crit. Take him out and then, oh my god, this dude's gonna quit. This dude's gonna cancel. We paralyze the Regigigas and then he loses a turn because he is paralyzed. Sorry. Sorry, yo, RNG's on my side this game. We're gonna go into Silver Valley. This might be a GG, good game kind of match. G Max Volt Crash again. Might be able to pick up the KO. And then. I guess we'll Ice Wind. Actually, we should swap. We should swap it to a Pokemon more so like Pinsir because Pinsir rocks. I'm going to my boy Pinsir here. Pinsir, Pinsir. Person's gonna get the swap. Doesn't really do too much if like Volt Crash is on the field. Because like the Paralyzer already slowed down. Ice Wind's not gonna do too much. And you can't put Pokemon to sleep that are already paralyzed. Wait, Dynamax is the Silvalli, I guess, right? Or is he going with Dynamax and a paralyzed slow start Regigigas? Okay. 
Banamax and the slow start paralyzed by Gigas. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I'm not too worried about it. I do have to start getting after it because we don't want the slow start to kind of untrigger and then him do some crazy damage. But we're going to mole crash here. And I think this should be able to take out the Silvalli, right? Pikachu. Pika Peak. Dude. Yo, what? This dude's going to quit. This dude's going to quit. Another crit? <laughs> He's not having it. He's not having it. Oh, of course I swapped to my pincer there. Luckily, he's slow starting. We're able to soak that up. Luckily. Yo, this dude's not having it. He's like, yo, no shot against another crit. Bang, another crit, yo. Peak. Chill on him. Chill on him. Pikachu's playing no games. He's playing no games. He's going to go into Victini here. Uh, Victini is fast. It is a fast Pokemon. But I'm still just going to bull crash right into it. I'm going to say, see you later, alligator. And then I'm going to drop an X Skizzy. Right over into Reggie. Not doing some damage on them. We still do the first. Can we get a third crit? That would be that would be crazy. No, we don't. <laughs> that would be insane if we got a third crit. We paralyzed the Victini though, which is huge. Next is you're gonna fly. Bop. Doing a decent amount of damage, yo. Thanks for getting after it. Let's get a roll into it here. We go into a B create, which I'm kinda cool. He's gonna waste a B create here. He's gonna lower stats. I'm all about it. But Pinsir goes down, yo. Pinsir, I love you. We got to showcase you in battle number one, but yo, it's such a sick Pokemon. And I'm really glad we actually got to do some work with him. Because Pinsir, I feel like it's one of those Pokemons that you would try to use and it would just get dumped on left and right. He's going to end up flaring. Peak, can you eat that up? I feel like you can. All day, Peak. All day, Peak. Uh, from here, we just go into Palkia. Or we go back into Persian. Uh, Palkia is faster than these guys now. Due to the Paralyzers, we'll go into Palk Palk. And... From here, Pikachu's Dynamax turns are over. We can just start throwing some Thunderbolts. I feel like Thunderbolt has a chance of taking out the Victini. We're going to do that. And then I'm just going to spatial run across onto that. Uh, on that Regigigas. Oh, no. It's Volt Tackle. Yeah, Volt Tackle's sick. I actually really like this animation. So hopefully it shows it. We're going to do that. And then we're just going to spatial run onto the Reggie. And this match is looking like a rat for us. Looking like a perfect record. That's what it's looking like. Volt Tackle coming out. Look how sick this move looks. Oh, I love it. I love it. Just quick, straight to the point. Only Pikachu and Pichu learns it. It's amazing. But we take out the Victini. Special round 5 through it. That might have been a crit. That was not a crit. That just did a ridiculous amount of damage. He's going to flare. He's going to take out my Peek. No, not my Pikachu. Not the heart and soul. But this game is a wrap. It is a wrap. His Dynamax turns are... Are they over? He flared Pinsir. Right, he flared... That, yeah, no, he has one more. Guess one more, but we go into Persian here. I oh, know it is over. So yeah, this game is this this a wrap. It's an automatic wrap. We spatial man, we fake out, we say Ayo, good game. And we grab ourselves perfect record for today's video. Just cancel battle. Save your poor Veggie Gigas. Save it. He does not. Fake out. Gives him a little clap skis. Spatial man comes in here, and that's gonna clean up the battle. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A beautiful 3-0 perfect record for today's video. What a set of battles on the casual ladder. We went 3-0 for today's video and got to showcase this team really, really well. I think we used every single Pokemon on team besides the Porygon 2, but Porygon 2 is probably the most meta out of all these Pokemon, so you guys definitely get to see him a lot in other videos. But yo, Pinsir rocked out strong, Ferramosa rocked out strong, Persian was great on the support side, Pikachu and Palkia did the heavy lifting, doing some crazy damage and winning us the battles. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.